if I were a talking to my son and I were to ag advertise this session or convince my uh, son or daughter to go to this session, I would tell them uh, that the kind of uh, questions you're going to be asked as an English Muslim by non-Muslims, an English boy or a girl by your community, your friends, you should get the best answers so that you can actually recreate your own flavors for those best answers in your community. You are going through some problems and you're not going to discuss it with me because that's the kind of barriers parents have with our kids because you're growing up, you're a teenager now. So instead of you pondering in your own bedroom, looking at the sky or looking at some YouTube video, you might as well just go and ask, be in direct engagement with these kind of people so that you can get a version, if not the best version of an answer, which will work for you. Okay, you are going through some 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 sort of a confusion as an English Muslim because uh, of the speed of things going around you. And you should know uh, how to place yourself in uh, your friends, in your community to become uh, the leader of that community. Okay, You should lead them rather than follow their course. You should set the course rather than uh, doing anything else. You should set expectations rather than meet your friend's expectation. This is the Muslim way. And I would have told my daughter uh, and son to actually go so that you can have these sessions or better in your version with the rest of the world. I need you to hold this torch because this man is not going to be here. He's going to die. He's just a man. And you're young and you have that, that, that you know, time in your, in, in, you know, with you. And you need, we need you rather than you needing us now. You should take the lead now. Okay. I would have given them a bigger responsibility rather than to, you know, place this as one of the many things or a luxury. This is not a luxury. This is a responsibility. So uh, I would have been a lot more assertive to my, my kids in telling them that I need this session in this very venue with, you know, bigger amount of people when you are on the stage in less than a year. I would have told every teenager, boy or girl, to make sure that this is recreated by you. That's what my job is. And I'm going to associate or facilitate this. And I'm going to help you in, in generating these sort of uh, sessions or seminars or programs or movement. And unless you're leading a movement, I'm not even going to think that I raised a Muslim. You know, that these are the kind of words I'll be telling my kids. Actually, I am telling my kids these words, literally. I just spoke to my daughter a few days ago, and I told her that if you're not running source code, I'm going to shut it down because you need to create your own uh, version of, you know, uh, how you're going to carry the torch because this is not, this, this shouldn't stop. This cannot stop. Okay, if it stops at our generation and our kids go here and there, and that's not their fault. That's our fault. Our fault. This is this is the job. Okay. We are the Khalifa to our kids. Our kids are going to be the Khalifa to their own kids. This is the Quran I'm reciting in front of you. So if we can, can't control our own, you know, uh, dependence, how are we making them independent of us?